happen. Welcome to the first part of the reading and understanding of the fifth chapter from your textbook, which is Golu Grows a Nose. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video that was sent to you yesterday and have also made note of the difficult words and their meanings by going through the lesson once. All right, but in this video, I'm going to read and explain the lesson to you so you can follow it in your textbook at home. All right, so Golu Grows and Knows, chapter number five. There was a time when the baby elephant had no trunk, right? So the long trunk, he did not have a trunk. Golu, a baby elephant with a bulgy nose, is full of questions. What is a bulgy nose? A bulgy nose is a swollen nose which is protruding or coming out a little bit, curving outwards, all right? It curves outwards. So you could say it's, it was a little swollen nose. But let's read the chapter and find out a little more. All right, so he goes to the Limpopo River to find out more about the crocodile's eating habits. Let's read and find out how. All right, so long, long ago, the elephant had no trunk. He had only a bulgy nose as big as a boot. So if you look at the picture down below on your textbook, you will see that his nose is not long like how an elephant's trunk should normally be long or how we know it to be normally long, but it looked like a boot, just like how it does in the picture there. All right, he could not wiggle it or shake it from side to side, but he couldn't pick up things with it. I'm sorry, he could wiggle it from side to side. He could do this, but he couldn't pick up things with it. All right. So there was a baby elephant called Golu, and he too had no trunk, but only a bulgy nose, all right? So his nose was bulgy, just less, as big as a boot, and as small as a boot, all right? So Golu was full of questions. Obviously, he was a little baby, so he was full of questions. So he goes to his tall aunt, the ostrich, and he asks her, why don't you ever fly like other birds? All right, we know that the ostrich is a bird which does not fly. Although it is in a bird's category, it does not fly. All right, it just walks on the ground and it runs really fast too. All right, so he goes and asks his tall aunt, the, uh, the ostrich, why don't you fly like other birds? Then he asked his tall uncle, the giraffe, what makes your skin so spotty? All right, if you look at a giraffe's skin, it will have spots on it, all right? So he asks the giraffe, what makes your skin so spotty? And he asked his huge uncle, the hippopotamus, why are your eyes always so red? All right, so if you look at the hippopotamus eyes, uh, most of the time because it is underwater, uh, probably the dust particles in the water make its eyes red, all right? But if you look at an uh, hippopotamus's eyes, it will always be red. And that's why he asks his huge uncle, the hippopotamus, why are your eyes always so red? He then asks his hairy uncle, the baboon, why do melons taste like melons, all right? So he asks his hairy uncle, the baboon, the baboon is like a monkey, all right, and you know a monkey likes eating melons from a tree, All right? So he asks him, why do melons taste like how melons taste? All right, the ostrich, the giraffe, the hippopotamus, and the baboon had no answers to Golu's questions. Golu is a naughty baby, they said. He asked such difficult questions. All right, so obviously he was a baby. He was curious to know why there were so many things like the way they are, all right? And they, and they all dismissed that uh, question that they asked, that Golu asked them by saying he is a naughty baby and he asks us difficult questions, all right? So one day, Golu met the minor bird sitting in the middle of a bush and he asked her, what does the crocodile have for dinner? The minor, the minor is a type of bird, all right? So the minor said, 
Go to the banks of the great grassy Limpopo River and find out. All right, so when he's this baby elephant Golu, he's so curious that he asked the minor bird, what does the crocodile have for dinner? And the miner says, go to the banks of the great grassy Limpupu River and find out. All right, the grassy Limpupu River is a river where there is all grass along the banks and maybe in the center of the river as well. All right, so it was a grassy place where crocodile, where the crocodile lived. All right, so Golu went home. He took a hundred sugar canes, 50 dozen bananas, and 25 melons and then he said to his family goodbye i'm going to the great grassy limpopo river to find out what the crocodile has for dinner he was a curious little baby elephant he wanted to know what the crocodile ate or has for dinner he had never seen a crocodile and didn't know what one looked like and that is why he wanted to find out all right, he met a python and asked him, have you ever seen a crocodile? What does he look like? What does he have for dinner? Okay, so on his way to the Great Limpopo River, he meets a python and he asks him these questions. The python uncoiled himself from the branch of a tree. If you look at the picture above on your textbook, you will see that the python is on the branch of a tree and it is coiled up, meaning it is circled around the branch of it circles itself around the branch of a tree all right but the python he just uncoiled himself and said nothing golu politely helped him un to coil around the branch again and said goodbye to him all right so when he asked the python these questions about the crocodile the crocodile, he, he does not answer, the python does not answer, but he just uncoils himself from the branch of a tree and says nothing. Golu very politely helped him to coil back around the branch again and said goodbye to him. All right, so we're going to stop at this for today. I hope you enjoyed the explanation of the lesson. Uh, continue watching videos for the next part so that you can understand this letter, lesson better. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.